Hey my fellow comrades, I'm LittleBigPlan678 and welcome to a tutorial video where I'm going to show you guys how to fix uh, fix this little bug that's been going around in Finance of Freddy's sister location ever since it came out. And this bug still exists to this very day. Now, have you ever experienced this problem before when you're just moving the mouse and this happens? It just drifts on its own for, for no apparent reason? I don't exactly know why that happens, either that, that's a bug, or it was intentionally supposed to do that. But either way, I found a solution that will actually fi uh, fix it, so, so let's get started. Alright guys, here we are at my desktop. Now before I, I show you how to fix this bug, I'm going to say that I'm well aware that a YouTuber named DJ Sturf already made a video on how to fix this bug, but the way I do it is different from the way he did it because he did some like PC, he changed some PC changes well, on the PC settings of his computer, but it's a little different than how the settings of mine are because he has Windows 10, I have Windows 8, and he also got rid of this bug thanks to the fact that he has dual monitors. I only have one monitor, so I was kind of screwed after that, but. Thanks to a Reddit user, I was able to actually use his method, his or her method, and when I uh, used it, it actually worked. So, and it's very, very simple. It's just one thing you have to do and that's it. So here we go. So all you have to do is just select the desktop icon of sister location, right click, and go down to properties, and then... It depends what kind of shortcut you have, because some shortcuts, it's a, w a little weird to explain this, but some uh, uh, some like desktop shortcuts are kind of different. Like if you create a shortcut on a Steam game, their icon becomes a little bit blurry and pixelated, and when you right click and go to properties, uh, they don't have these type of tabs, like compatibility or whatever. But if you go into the actual game, uh, actual uh, .exe uh, application of the game and then make a shortcut a desktop shortcut from there then you would actually have these these options so once you're on the properties of a uh, sister location go to the co uh, compatibility tab and then go down to this uh, checkbox called disable display scaling on high DPI settings all you have to do is just Check this. Make sure that this option is checked. And don't forget to uh, click apply and then OK, so that means the changes have been made. So that's basically it, actually. <laughs> that's all you have to do. You just had to, like, uh, enable that setting just to disable high display on DPI. I don't even know what that is about. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but. <laughs> whatever. But, uh, but it actually uh, solves the problem. And I'm gonna show you at this uh, clip. And so, as you can see, after I uh, enabled that uh, setting about like disabled uh, high dis uh, display, whatever that was, as you can see, the mouse cursor is not drifting by itself. It's actually staying in place. After I move it, it's like not going off by itself or anything. See? You might just do a little tap. See, nothing happens. So, that's it guys. That's all you gotta do to fix this bug. It is a little bit different from uh, DJ Sturf's video, but this is a much, much simpler way to do it. And I'm pretty sure that all versions of Windows, I'm thinking anyway, <laughs> at least the, the versions that most people use, like Windows 7 and such, but I'm pretty sure all, all versions of Windows have this, uh, this option. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to become a fellow comrade today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.